Well, today we're hearing the dramatic stories of people who were inside that train when it crashed. 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer is in Philadelphia tonight. He spoke with some of the passengers who were on board the train. Lowell. Yeah, good evening once again from the Port Richmond section of Philadelphia. Behind me, just behind the heavy equipment, there is the crash scene, which remains active at this hour. As you mentioned earlier this afternoon, spoke to both witnesses and passengers on board that train, many of them living, living through this horrific evening, all of them telling me they would never forget it. It was just after 9 p.m. and this blue-collar working-class neighborhood of Port Richmond had now found itself as ground zero for one of the worst disasters the Philadelphia area has ever seen. We were sitting across the street, a blue light came right for our electrical wires, and whew, next thing you know, we seen the train upside down right here. People coming off full blood, everything was horrible. Never seen nothing like that in my life. And I lived here 47 years. Witnesses describe it as total chaos. There were so many injured, there were not enough ambulances, so police vans had to be used to shuttle people to the hospital. Passenger Beth Davis was sitting in the third car of the train when it derailed. But at the moment, you couldn't, I couldn't tell what, what was up, what was down. Um, it was just, you know, people and things kind of just kind of tumbling through the car. And um, that was kind of all in slow mo. Um, she's not sure where that's going to end. Um, and then it was just kind of the moment that, like, it stopped and I could taste dirt and I knew I was alive at least. Former U.S. Congressman and veteran Patrick Murphy says he was in the cafe car when the next thing he knew, he was thrown across it. The guy next to me was unconscious, so I just kind of picked him up and just kind of stopped him in the face a little bit, saying, hey, buddy, get up, get up. And uh, he came to, and then he was okay, and there's just a lot of blood and a lot of, a lot of people. Now, a day after the smoke has cleared, those who witnessed the horror still have the images ingrained in their minds. And it was horrible. It was even more horrible because when the lady came out of, off there, she fell on the street. But that's when I left. I couldn't watch it. Now, for those that might be wondering, this area of Port Richmond, very similar to a uh, Dundalk or an Essex or a Curtis Bay, an industrial area lined with row homes. One final note from the mayor's office here in Philadelphia. The scene remains a search and rescue operations as they are still trying to account for a number of passengers. We're live in Philadelphia tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News.